Jeremiah 10 and 16. It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them. Who is Jacob? The Israelites. Who is them? Everybody else. All right. It says, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. So Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, all right, that's the Most High, all right, in the name of his son, is the creator of all things. And we as his children are the creative, the creative people on earth. And I use the example of the uh the so-called Asian girl chick uh dancing. Over there in Asia, it's common knowledge, and I read an article that Asians view view so-called black people as being able to sing and being able to dance. But it's more than that. We we we, we sing, we dance, we in, we invent. How do you think America became so great? You had all these slaves and, and, and inventing things. Can't even read. We couldn't even read. Disallowed to read. All right, but it's just the portion of the portion the Lord gave us. All right, Kalak, portion shared, one's portion, one's possession, smoothness, seductiveness, flattery. All right, are we known to just be smooth? All right, a portion, and what was we given? All right, we was given the spirit of the Lord. All right, He's the He's the He's the uh, uh, He's the ultimate creator, and as His children, we're creative, man. All right, so this is a uh, this is a uh, jump to uh, this is Genesis three and eight. It says, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Now, did they go? Did they go hide behind some trees? And the, the, the scripture says the, the voice of the Lord or the spirit of the Lord filleth the whole earth. All right. So so they hand behind the oak tree. Literally. No, that's parabolic. All right. Meaning it's a it's a parable. All right. Meaning it's a it's a dark saying. OK. When you read. Uh, Mark 8 and 24, it says what? And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. So there's various scriptures when it speaks about. Trees as a representation of people. It's a parable. So they hid amongst other people. They weren't the only ones in the garden. All right. They hid amongst where the, if that's the case, where did Cain get his wife from? All right. They weren't the only people in the garden. But what distinguished them? Like you can't you uh, Israelite can't hide because what Israelites have spirit. All right. This is a. Uh, let me jump to Exodus. All right. This is Exodus 1 and 19. It says, I'm going to start up. It said, Exodus 1 and 18. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing and have saved the men children alive? Verse 19. And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women, and when you look up the word Hebrew, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to read the point. I bar you uh, it says the designation of the patriarchs and the Israelites, a designation of the patriarchs and the Israelites, because there's multiple Hebrew families. But when you read the scriptures and when it's when it says Hebrew, in most cases, it's talking about the Israelites. It says because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. All right. The Israelite and, and the Israelite people in general are not like these other people. It says what? For they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come into them. All right. Lively. Vigorous, that word in Hebrew, chaya, vigorous, lively, having the vigor of life, all right? Energetic, so to speak, creative, all right? Different, and then and also appealing. That's why these other nations envy us and hate us, because what we do, what when they try to do what we do or they try to copy us, it, it's, it's, it takes everything in them. But when we saw that, uh, when we just played that video, and, and, and of course, you know, they got choreography and all of that, but they, they just made it look just so effortlessly. And when you watch the Elder Malcolm video, it was actually a, a Edomite dancing on the, um, on the right hand side. And you can just tell she was just one, two, three, one, two, 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 three, three, two. Oh, oh shit. I missed this, you know, versus the, the fluidness of what you saw, you know, in the video I played that girl ain't no way in hell. 
that girl at Edomite. All right. And then there was other uh, melanated, uh, you know, uh, people of color behind her dancing, you know, and they couldn't really hold a candle to her. You know, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect called Law Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakodash. Shalom.